What's going on everybody? Welcome back to your daily dose of brood war. Now recently TY was discovered on the ladder. His uh, ID has been confirmed. This is one of his smurf accounts here. And if you don't know who TY is, he is a legendary StarCraft 2 player. He has been active in brood war and is more and more active recently, even appearing in the ASL this season. So as a bit of a primer for that, since we haven't really covered TY before, AKA actually his name was Baby way back in the day. We're gonna take a look at TY's Terran versus Zerg and who better to test that than Shine. You know, honestly, I'm shocked that this map has not been banned by TY. It's uh, such a terrible map, honestly. I'm not a big fan of Dark Origin. I think it is a real pain in the neck, but someone like Shine would definitely like this map. He would be very happy to have this map un uh, unvetoed. To have to play on this map i'm sure he's not concerned about it at all and he sent out a very early drone it's interesting i think this is shine's response to the popularity of eight racks instead of going for something like 11 pool or an earlier pool in order to counter the popularity of eight racks or potential eight racks plays he's just sending out a very early drone here and this is just giving him full confirmation about what is going on, that there's no 8 racks coming, and he's even able to force one SCV off the line. Slowing down TY just by a little bit, offsetting the uh, pain of having to have this drone off the mineral line. So this is very good for Shine. I like the adaptation, and you can just see how smart he is as a player. He is probably the smartest Zerg that we have. Maybe even the smartest player that we have, I would say, aside from maybe Flash. Possibly someone like Stork, I don't know. Maybe Mind, Mind is a very smart player. These are all people that come to mind when I think of smart players, but Shine is definitely among the greatest. And a great little switch up here. A great little, uh, you know, Adaptation, that's the word that I'm thinking of. Jeez, my words are just not coming to me lately. But Shine is going to get into his 12 hatch with no trouble at all. Putting down a 2.5 hatch. This is a pretty early hatchery here to get that third hatch out already. That's because he's cut Lings so heavily. And what are we having here? A factory in the back. Very interesting from TY. TY going to completely hide this by continuing to make marines here at the natural as well. He's starting to like push them out on the map. This is exactly what you'll do as a Terran player if you're just going for like, for example, two racks marine production. If you're just going to go two racks, you definitely want to push out and force a few extra links. He's, he's going to force two more pairs of links, but you're not going to commit all the way. And as you can see, TY, he just pushes out a little bit, just a little bit. And he's going to back up again. He's going to continue to produce Marines. Now, I'm looking at this as Shine. I definitely think that there's a two racks coming behind this, but it is not the case. He's going to float this over. What? An, an add-on here. Okay, he's going to mine that out. That's going to take so many returns. How is he ever going to be able to mine that out in time? That does seem a little bit crazy to me. How are we going to mine this out? Is he just going to hop a vulture over the wall? Speed vulture, maybe? We've got the spire on the way here already. What is happening right now? I'm so confused. Armory. He will be going into Valkyrie off of this. Two SCVs heading to the back here. But still, it takes a lot longer than just this amount of time to break through here. Is he going to build something else? What? No, he's just going to mine. Okay. Okay. Very confused here. Very confused indeed. But this spire is about to finish. We haven't had any pressure at all. So look at Shine's minerals right now. He's going to send a drone, I think, to the top right here. That's going to be for his third base. And he will be throwing down, what is this? At Evo Chamber right away? Okay. 
Okay, Evo Chamber ready. Even as the Mutas are popping out here, he's already dropped that Evo Chamber. That's going to slow down his third a little bit. But I guess he wants to start a very fast plus one armor. Interesting decision making here for Shine, who really hasn't seen anything. And we're like past the two racks move out timing, so he's got to be confused at this point. Maybe he's sort of sussed it out by now that... You know, some sort of 111 or something is happening behind this wall. It's just a little bit funny that he was continually producing Marines and sending them out like he was doing some sort of two racks play and just getting the pressure going in the early game. The Vultures are heading out around right as the Mutas come in. This is crazy. Here comes a Valkyrie. Oh, the Valkyrie. Where is it going? This Valkyrie. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it's been lost here. He really needs to pull it over towards this natural. And there we go. He's going to bring it up. And coming into the natural of Shine right now, this is a complete shock to Shine. We had no clue that a play like this was coming from TY. TY already killing a lot of drones here. He's going to kill so many drones of Shine. Shine bringing back the Mutas to clear this up and just fighting on the high ground, fighting on the ramp. But he has lost way too many drones, men. Oh my god, 16 drones remain here that was insanely insanely good and all the plans of shine have just unraveled here imagine if while he was sending in the mutas he had gone a little bit wider coming in here he would have seen the vultures running past and he could have shut that down completely but instead He's sitting here with a plus one upgrade on the way, and he has to produce a huge amount of drones. He's going to go right into Queen's Nest because he knows that the follow-up from TY is going to be coming hard and fast here. He's going to add on a bunch more barracks. He's going to build up that uh, marine count, and these mutas are not going to get too much done here. They come in, kill a couple of SCVs. But they will have to retreat now. Their usefulness has basically run dry at this point. And there were some really good spread overlords around. But he didn't have like an overlord here or something. So he could see the vultures uh, heading by towards the top. Towards the natural here. That is uh, unfortunate to say the least. And now TY in a dominating position. He controls the flow of this game completely at this point, and it'll be up to Shine to find ways to get back into this. Four Valkyries out here is so scary, guys. I can't even explain to you how scary this can be when a Terran player is moving out with this many Valkyries and you don't really have an advantage. You're kind of behind already. How many overlords this can kill? It's kind of insane. That's a lot of Scourge. Maybe. Maybe he can get some good connections here. We'll see. He's going to have to do something here to bring himself back in. Four Valkyries are flying around. Back through the natural. Coming out onto the field. Going to meet up with this small marine medic army. Here we go. He's got to call in the Scourge. Where are the Scourge? The Scourge are not with this. Here they come now. They are going to connect. A lot of them do connect on these Valkyries. Two of the four Valkyries get taken out. But the Mutas are all but dead at this point. Plus one armor is done. Do we have plus one attack? Yes, we do. Plus one attack done now for TY. As he heads here towards the third base. Will we have Sunken enough in time to stop this push? TY is looking very scary here. A lot of lings on the flank are ready to dive in. We've got Adrenal Glance on the way. A pretty good block with these drones. Kind of slowing things down as best he can. Lings are coming in from the flank. The Scourge are going to try to connect here. But looks like all of the lings have disappeared. And the Valkyries were not connected. Okay, there's there's one Valkyrie going down. That was crazy, guys. Actually insane. You saw it here first, guys. If this becomes a build that we see in the ASL, remember that you saw it here first. This ladder battle. Some brand new tech coming out here. And at this point, 
it's an almost an unlosable scenario for our man TY. Pulling out some really sneaky stuff we haven't actually seen before. Faking the marine play. Not even lifting the... I thought he would definitely float that out, but... Mining out his own back minerals. That's not something you see Terrans do very often. Mine out their, their own mineral patches in the back. We're going to go for a desperation counter here. Shy going to try to dive in the natural. This is not really working. And back at home, I think he might be able to get broken here. Actually, T.Y. not even going to try it. No point at this stage. Four ultras are going to pop here. And Kiteness plating will be done soon. Oh my goodness, he can't get that. Science Vessel going to stay alive here. GG is called. TY with the D Matrix Marine running it up to the front. And look at how quickly everything explodes. Very well played by him. Really, some fantastic tech here. Bringing out the sneakiest of the sneak builds actually against Shine, who is generally considered the sneakiest, right? He is the guy who we call the bag of builds who usually has some really tricky stuff up his sleeve, but here we are with T.Y. pulling the wool over his eyes, blindsiding Mr. Shine here, right as he's getting into his aggression over at the natural. Valkyries flying out and vultures sliding into the natural, killing a huge, huge amount of drone. Well, wow, that is going to be a sick, sick build. I would pocket that one if I was TY. I wouldn't bring it out on ladder. Are you kidding me? We bring this out in the ASL to win a very important game, I would say, against a really strong Zerg player. But maybe this is just the test run. Maybe this is just TY seeing if it will work on a pro gamer. And in the future, in the ASL, he will bring it out against someone he hasn't tried it on. Someone like, I don't know, Soul Key or Hero or someone like that. Keep an eye out in the ASL, guys, for this man. Especially on Dark Origin. He has got some sneaky, sneaky tricks. Guys, that's it for this ladder battle. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you tomorrow.